Hi, everybody. This is Consuelo from Consuelo's Viola Daughters uh, channel on the YouTube. And I'd um, like to welcome back all my subscribers and to uh, say thank you to all my new subscribers and welcome in. And hopefully I can show you how I do something. I only, I only uh, do, um, you know, just sit down, talk, and show FBOs, but today I decided to show you how I block some of my tops because um, a lot of people don't block, and most of the time I don't block. But sometimes you get a, uh, a piece and it's a little, a little heavy or a little shrinking up, and it's not going to hang right. And I found out that mostly in cotton um, thread it tends to be a little heavy. I have a tendency to work really heavy. I put. Um, my stitch is more dense because I want to give you some coverage when you're um, wearing it, especially in the bust line area. So um, the bottom I don't mind. As you can see, I've made them granny squares, lacy. They're going to be on my waistline and my hip, and it doesn't matter. Um, you know, usually your, your skirt or your waistline of your clothing will show through there. So, but. Most of the time around the top area, you don't want all that showing through this, you know, through your stitches. So I'm going to show you how I block it. And, um, well, tell you the truth, I actually filmed this before and it didn't come out. I wasn't, I didn't turn the camera on. So we're going to start all over again. And I'm going to feel like I'm repeating myself, but you probably all enjoy that I'm repeating myself. <laughs> so I'm going to show you that I use a little handheld little handheld steamer. I had the top off because like I said I was filming before and it was hot. So I have a little small handheld steamer got it on Amazon. Uh, maybe I'll remember to put the link in the bottom of the description if you're interested in getting one. I think it's like 20 something dollars. Um, I got this one because it had the largest capacity for this little size, you know, for a handheld. They have bigger ones but um, I, I tend to drop things or my hands get weak and I don't want to be holding a hot steaming pot of water when I decide to let go. So I get the small one, only holds like a cup of water. It's lightweight and I can maneuver around on my um, garment. And then, so, and then on top of it, I use the still water so that it could save my uh, machinery because uh, our water here in New Jersey is really hard, especially in my area. I don't have a water softener activated now. So I put it in a smaller vessel and then I pour it in, which I'm gonna do now because even though I was had filmed this before, I gotta film it again. So I'm gonna put it up to the maximum water line so I can get the most out of it. It says max, you probably can't see that and then you tighten it. Nope, it's going the wrong way. Your nausea should be opposite your handle, right? Yeah, so you can go like that and the steam comes out there. So I'm gonna turn it on so while I'm talking, it's brewing. <laughs> and uh, I'll put it over here. So like I said, this top, unfortunately I already had steamed part of it before I realized it didn't have the camera on. Well, which isn't a good thing. So, um, the angle I have the camera on, I can't really see if it's on or not because it's facing this way. So, like I said, I take these little pins. Let me show you the pins. You're supposed to use teeth pins, but I used to make jewelry, so I have tons and tons of these, which are jewelry pins, but they, won't, they don't rust. And they're really fine, so I stick them in between. I'll show you what I do. Like, see, it has, like, a little bubble here, and I'm... Not sure I want that bubble here. I'd rather have it out than in. So I'll stick it through the, the blocking board. And I pinned it down where it looked like it was pulling in or not shaped right. You know, to whatever I want it, right? So, I don't know, can you see the whole thing? It's laid out. Now you see this, the board's too small. I gotta buy some more. Um, so it's kind of puffy and a little, you could steam that lightly if you want to. You don't have to. Because once your body is in there and you're animated, nothing's gonna really show. But um, 
I probably, that's why I pinned it more to the bottom and not to the top. So I'm going to move this back in frame. Yeah, it's back in frame and there's a shadow in there. Sorry, folks. Um, I have, okay. So, see how fast it, it's heating up? Um, try not to put your hand in the way. And I, what I do is I pass it over lightly um, just to get the threads uh, moist. You don't have to cook it. You don't have to make it wet because then it'll dry faster too if it's not so wet. But the steam does work. So, so then I just kind of tug on it, even it out the way my eye thinks it should be. Ouch! Don't put your hand in front of it. This is from years of cooking. I cooked over forty something years, so my hands are really not so sensitive to heat. But if you're new at it or you're sensitive. Don't do that. Okay, you see how my stitches look like they're moving over here and they're separating? You just pass it over lightly. I usually work in acrylic and you're not supposed to let the steam touch it too harshly because it'll have a tendency to melt. But um, I'm gonna push that one in and I'll work it in. You always find a loose end, especially when you're showing it to somebody. What is that? Anyway, so. <laughs> uh, Okay, so I passed it over, everything's a little damp. I turn mine off, safety, and then I'll pull it a little so that everybody's laying straight. It just makes your work look finished, yeah? I use my hands a lot. I'm a touchy, touchy, feely, feely. So um, straighten out your stitching here because I like to do single crochet, but it has a tendency to go every which away. <laughs> it leans left, it leans right. Sometimes in the same line. Um, these picos, I made really big picos. You see how big they are? I love picos, so I made picos. It makes you think your garment look fancy. So I'm putting, um, steaming it. And like I said, this is mostly cotton. I think it's a cotton blend. I'm not quite sure. I think it's um, cotton and polyester. So I'm being a little gentle. And I use my hands so that they hang down instead of going all, all crazy like they like to go. It really doesn't matter when you have them on, but I mean, if you're going to do it, you might as well do it, right? So now I'm going to work. I hope my head's not in front. And I apologize for the shadow, but my over lights um, give me more shadow than anything. It's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon and I have all these shadows like I'm working at night. All right, so now I'll turn it off again because I don't want to fill it up. And I see that I'm going different directions, you know, because it just moves. All right, so it's almost dry already. So I'll wait till the bottom part dries. Uh, the bottom part of the top, these things. I'll wait till they dry. They're almost dry. That's what the good thing about steaming, because you know you could, you could block by sticking it in the washing machine or in your kitchen sink or bathroom sink, whatever it fits in, and uh, squeezing it out and laying it out and tugging on it a little bit, you know, to make sure things are going the same direction or whatever direction you want it to go into. And you see I have pins here. I don't really need them, but I figured I'd show you somewhat the right way. Because <laughs> uh, usually I just take it to chance, especially since this is mine. So um, this is pretty much what I do. And like I said, it's almost dry already. So I'll wait like another 10 minutes and it'll be dry. And then um, you can wear it. Uh, I'm going to pull this down a little bit so you can see this. And since I still have a little water, and now usually it'll take like two refills of this per garment, like a little blouse like this, or top like this. But because uh, I was, doing it and not filming it, I only have to use one container full. So I'm going to steam it enough that it's um, moist and it's not burning my hand. Uh, use up all the water that was in there. And then I'm going to use my hands to shape it a little. And it'll probably stay. I'll put as many pins as I can. I run out of board up here, but it's okay. 
and maybe the next video <laughs> I'll do a, a more professional filming job. Okay, so you see, it, well, you can't tell, but I can feel it. It's a little damp. So I'll take it and I'll tug a little. And because this, actually I have them that they go a little slanted so that they, they hang nice on your shoulder, on my shoulders. I don't have very big shoulders. Some some ladies have nice broad shoulders. And their clothes fit differently. Um, so I'm going to. I don't worry about this curve here because it's going to be on the top of my shoulder. And by the time I finish with my hair and my jewelry and everything, it'll be fine. And I'll put another pen just so it doesn't move until it dries. And I'm thinking maybe in the next video, I'll put this on a mannequin. I don't want to undress her in front of all of you guys, but uh, <laughs> you never know if I break some YouTube rule or something. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to pull this over and just a little, just to give it the shape. Since I'm doing this, I might as well do what I want, right? Okay, I'm going to I hope you can hear me. I didn't really check for sound. We'll find out. Or else I'll be doing this again. Okay. Now these pins are nice because they have, um, you can use straight pins. Or you, or you could buy, they have nice combs. Like they look like combs and they have several teeth and they go down one time. You don't have to use so many pins. And it's dry already. So. Let me show you. I'm gonna put them back in because I don't want to leave any on the floor or something. So somebody steps on it. I'm gonna pull them off because this thing is actually dry. And that's what's the good thing about steaming. When you steam, you don't have to wait forever for it to dry and block. Okay, I'll, I'll leave these here. All right, I'll leave these, but I just wanted to show you. See how nice it's laying down? See they're laying down flat? See how nice it's laying down? It looks almost like I pressed it, which I told you I hate to iron, so there'd be no chance of me pressing anything. I try not to iron. Years ago, we didn't have all these synthetic materials. You have to iron cotton and linen. But now we have all these uh, man-made fabrics, or fabrications as they call it. And um, so now, like if you want to be fussy and you want to play with this, like you say, see I have a line that goes up and down, which I kind of like, but if you wanted to, move, you know, move it on, and we could probably turn this back on. I still have uh, half a cup. And like I said, I used to still water. You don't really have to. Um, but I used it because I know the heating element inside gets crusted with all the minerals that is in the water and it shortens the life. And being that I'm kind of on the cheap side, I don't really want to buy another one. So, so this is going to give my blouse a nicer finished look. I'm trying not to put shadows on it, but I see I'm in there anyway. And uh, straightens out my lines. This, this is handmade, and there's no way you're gonna get everything to lay down perfectly. I'm actually using a heavier thread than you probably should use for a design like this. Um, I came up with this kind of concept. I don't know if you can call it my design, but I came up with this concept on my own. Um, basically to make, uh, enhance my shape, my body shape, and to fit me. And um, hopefully it does look good on me. <laughs> we'll know when I take the pictures, right? And um, I'll post the pictures in Instagram, or uh, Instagram and Facebook, that's probably what I'll do. Uh, I don't have a pen. I know somebody <laughs> might ask me, I don't really have a pen, because I make things, uh, I measure my body 
Some of us have larger bus lines than waistlines. Some of us have larger waistlines than bus lines. And if you made one size to fit all, it would be just a big square. So uh, my patterns would be more measure yourself. If you want to minimize something, maybe you'll pull your fabric in or your design in. If you want to, uh, like your bust line, you want it to look a little fuller in certain areas, then maybe you might make it a little bigger or drape a little differently. Um, there's so many tricks. Those who sew know there's tricks, little places where you can put tucks and darts and make the fabric, you know, conform to your body shape and enhance your body shape. So that's pretty much how I crochet too. I have figure floors, the we all, and um, when I make a garment, I try to make it look the best it can on this body God gave me. So, <laughs> so that's it. Um, I was going to take it off and flip it over, but it's still damp, and it'll, uh, actually, I could probably do it anyway. What the heck? It's not, it's, this is not going to be like pictured in Vogue or anything. So it's not, that's why I like these pins, because this is how, this is something I probably could tell you anyway. When I take my pins out, I always rub my hand around the back side because if I miss the pin, my hands are going to tell me when I get pricked. So for my benefit and everybody else's, I try to check. Uh, they kind of become invisible. You probably can't even see them in the camera. They become invisible to the eye. So I put my hands there gently so if I do get st stuck, you know, it wouldn't be too harsh. So this is how I check. Um, only because, see, you can't even see them. So I'm thinking of buying the combs. I call them combs. They look like comb, like hair combs almost. Like they have a top to it, and they're all all the prongs are stuck in um, in the comb, so you can see it. All right. So now I'm gonna rub my hand up, up and down it. Make sure I took all my pins out. Didn't leave anything for anybody. And now I'm gonna flip it. Now you see how thin it is already? This side is a little thicker because you can't see, but I can feel it. See how this stitch is, I didn't miss a stitch. It just, I did a triple. You see, it, it moves. So if you block it, and the back and the front are the same. Only thing is I see a little, uh, you know, a little line where you know you join, which if you block it, you can kind of take it out. And then they'll say, wow, you really crochet great. <laughs> and uh, you already messed all your, your mistakes. Okay, so I, I'm going to use my whole board as much as I can. Um, and I want the bottom to be a little more straight. So I'm going to drag my hands across and I move it around um, to the way I like it. Try to stretch it out a little bit because these still they got a little steam on them, but they didn't get much. So, all right. So I'll do it this way. Like I said, this is the way I do it. I might take an extra five to ten minutes to do it. I don't leave it overnight because I'm anxious to get it done and over with. And besides, this is my living room, and if I had to have a um, piece of garment hanging on there, it doesn't make sense. So. Now, sometimes I take a chance since I see that it's pretty sturdy. I'll even use the uh, head of the, can you see that in my in frame? Uh, no, let me push it up a little bit more. And I'll do a drag thing, which will give me a nice, uh, pull my stitches even. And it just gives me a finished look. You see how, look at that line dips up. You can do that. and. Uh, Pull it down. I'm doing everything gently now. I'm not dragging on the fabric to alter it too hard. And like I said, this is cotton or a cotton blend. Okay, so let me just do this. Did I run out of water? No, I didn't run out of water. I'm gonna hold it up a little because it is running out of water. <laughs> I'm sure the way I do my blocking is not the way everybody else does it. I'm almost positive, but 
You don't have to worry about making a mistake. I mean, if you really wrecked it, you'd have to make it over again. That's all. Right? Okay. Now I use my hands. And I see, like, you know where you joined it? See, that's the back. So I joined it. So I'll push it together. Give it a nice finished look. Um, this one's going up. This one's going down. Because, it, you know, cotton just does what it wants to do. It's very heavy. So, I took it, I didn't put it on the board because it wouldn't be on the frame. And I don't have enough board, boards. I'm going to buy some more. Buy, should, this is only four. It's 12, 12 by 12. So, that's what? 12 by 12. Oh, so that's 24 by 24. Yeah, you definitely need something bigger than that. This is 12, that's 12, that's 24 square. So I probably could use another four and then move them wherever I want to. And I see that little hole there and it's annoying me. So I'm going to pay special attention to it. I'm going to wet it up and pull it down and push it together so that when it dries, it won't be so so obvious. Like I said, these are triple crochets, so they tend to move around, which is the beauty of crochet, you know, the holes or the patterns. And it's almost dry already. You could actually give it 10 more minutes. You can put it on and go out the door. Nobody will know you just finished, finished steaming it. <laughs> um, I don't iron and I definitely don't steam my clothes. I didn't have to travel, so I didn't have to worry about it. So I'm turning it off. Um, it's not that hot because there wasn't any water in it. But see, it's making uh, sounds. And for safety measures, I'll leave it open. I usually unplug everything. Everything electrical, I unplug it. Nothing can happen if it's not plugged, right? So I'll unplug it. I let mine cool off because if you put cold water on the hot element, it might splash back on you. Um, I don't burn so easy from my years of cooking and sticking my hand and face in the oven, but just to be safe, I let it cool off. Okay, so as you can tell, it's almost dry. It's just slightly damp, not even damp. And see how nice it holds its shape? It, even though I'm moving it around, you can see that the bottoms hang nice. So sometimes you should consider blocking things. I like these things to hang down. I want them to hang down and look like little uh, like fringes, but I don't want them so fringy that they got caught on things. So I put the little, uh, what you call those, picos. I put picos on there. So, but as you see, I'm handling my, mat my top. I'm moving it around. And I'm sorry if I sound so nasal. I have asthma, so this weather's killing me. But, um, so I do sound like I have a stuffy nose, but I don't. It's just I don't sound very musical. And uh, as you can see, that's the back. And you can hardly see. Like, I see one or two here. Eh. But, you know, if you're really particular with your work or, you, or somebody commissioned you for it, you might want to be a little more fussy. And I like it that I made it um, rounded shoulders because my shoulders are like this. So it's going to like accentuate my shoulders, the ones I don't have. And uh, this is it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, stick it in the comment section or email me. Um, I usually have that information. If it's not underneath there, it's probably in the about. You know, when you go to my page and YouTube, it's in the about section. And you'll see my emails, my Pinterest, my Facebook, my Instagram, you know, all of that. And I'll try and put the link for the Amazon steamer. Um, my son, who's an artist, and he puts backdrops and things. He loves it because he can take it with him. You know, it's travel size. So he takes it with him and he uses it to steam out his backdrops. So uh, it's pretty resilient has a nice long cord too. I think I paid like $24, $25. That's a really long cord. I'd say maybe eight to nine feet cord. 
So it's plugged all the way on the wall over there. It's all the way on the wall over there, and uh, I don't know if I'm in frame and I can't see. <laughs> I'm doing this by feel, yeah. <laughs> um, so it, it has its advantages. The only thing I would say, I, I wish it could be like a little bit bigger, but if it was a little bigger, I probably couldn't handle it the way I like to move around with my steamer. And as you can see, you see how it's keeping its shape? It's uh, just no matter what I do, it's drapey. And this is really heavy, regular cotton. I'm not even sure you, you're probably supposed to use this for wearables. It's probably better suited for um, home goods and stuff, like washcloths and stuff. But I used it because I love the color. I thought it was pretty. I liked the way uh, some more ends I got to cut. Um, that's one good thing about steaming. You'll get to find all your ends, too. Yeah, see, I got all the ends on the inside, but I didn't get the ends on the front that worked its way through. So you can see it's nice and flat and even. And if you want to steam or block your stuff, this is a fast way. I'm done. I actually have two more blouses I'll probably... Uh, I'll probably block since I have this all set up already and I have the water here and everything um, and um, I'm going to say goodbye and uh, hope you come back and don't forget to give me a thumbs up whether you like it or thumbs down if you don't it doesn't matter YouTube wants them I don't know what they do with them I guess they keep count or whatever but I would appreciate it if if you come and visit me um, whether you liked it or not, you just register with the thumbs up or thumbs down. And if you have a comment, uh, you thought I missed something, or I didn't say something, which is possible. I left something out, because um, I'm just rambling, my regular speech pattern. Um, you know, mention it in the, in the comment section. I'll answer you. I try to read all my comments. I really enjoy them. I enjoy the fact that you take the time to even write them. Uh, I know I do it sometimes too, but some of you are really, really good at expressing how you feel about things, and I do love that. Uh, bad or good, it only makes me better, you know, how criticism can be. And um, uh, don't forget the thumbs up. I hope you subscribe. I hope you stay with me and come back. I have a few more FOs done already, and I have a couple of um, whips or, you know, works in progress. We're using all these letters. Probably some people don't even know what I mean. But I do have some more to show you. And um, maybe some more interesting comment content. I'm trying to think of stuff <laughs> that you might be interested in, other than hearing my melodious voice. <laughs> so, um, bye now, and come back. Bye-bye.